Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1966, um, very high spec, um, Land Rover Series 2A, 88 inch in 7 seater spec, hard top, um, petrol, 2.25 petrol. It is fitted with the later 5 bearing engine rather than its original 3 bearing engine, so uh, the nicer, stronger engine that's fitted to it. But it's got a lovely spec on this one. Um, mechanically, apart from the, uh, uh, the engine upgrade, it's also fitted with 3 wheel front hubs, overdrive, and parabolic springs, so pretty much everything you can get on these mechanically. Um, <coughs> it's got a matching set of uh, folder tyres on it, a matching set of four on the uh, normal white rims, or limestone rims, which are a little bit, uh, perhaps could do with a repaint, but um, uh, limestone roof as well. It's also got the very rare sun visor on it, which is uh, a nice little period addition up here. Um, it's also got a pair of period I thought it was a spot lamp uh, fog lamps to me rather than spot lamps but um, you decide a radiator muff uh, it's also got um, recovery lugs on the front bumper it's in full seven seater spec we'll come back to the interior in a minute it's got mud flaps on it tow bar with electrics um, it's got I think it's got aluminium door tops as well I have to check the history on that they look like aluminium ones for me they feel like it, they're certainly in really, really good shape. Interior wise, proper series, mid period to series 2A, so it's got the deep sills on it, it's got the correct steering wheel, the correct dash, bulkhead, and everything. It's also been fitted with um, heated front screens, a pair of heated front screens on it. Basically, it's been prepared for use all year round, so it can be used in the winter without um, uh, too much um, coldness. And it is actually, it's quite toasty in here when it's um, nicely warmed up. Um, yeah, so you've got heated front screens. It's also got a Clayton heater core. It's got the original Smith's round heater in it, but fitted with um, uh, the Clayton core, which is actually much more powerful. And it's, it does actually get quite toasty in here. Um, Exmoor trim front seats, the uh, slightly higher back and um, longer base ones. Uh, they're quite nice. They're in grey. Back seats are the original station wagon type, although it isn't actually an, an original station wagon. Um, but they've been purloined from a station wagon, no doubt, in black. Um, but that's about it really. Let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paint wise, it's quite patinated. Green seems to be its original colour, uh, bronze green, but it has been at some point. It's been sand. So you can see uh, various areas of sand paint on it. Um, but it's been returned to bronze green at some point in the past. And it looks like it was actually properly sprayed rather than uh, rolled or brushed. But um, you know, the paint is, uh, shall we say, quite heavily patinated on it, which a lot of people like. Um, I'm, I'm one of them as well. Um, Around the front end, we've got lots of areas of, as you can see, uh, where the sand, sand um, colour is, is, is coming through, especially on the wing tops. The wing tops are a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit rough. Um, but looking down the near side, apart from the usual dinks in the barrel sides and stuff on the doors, she's actually really quite straight down there. Um, wing front is good. Up here on the scuttle corner, it looks like it's had some work here on the very edge of the scuttle corner probably a bit of filler in there but the spot the original spot weld marks are still down there so it hasn't gone too far in um, but it looks like it has had a bit of work around here down here along the base here it's um, just starting to uh, to corrode just underneath the bottom hinge pin down there but it's it all feels still feels quite solid actually just the surface has, uh, has come off electrolytic reaction on both door bottoms um, as I say I think the, the yeah in fact they are aluminium those door tops because you can see where the paint's come off of them um, so they're not going to rust the door tops on it. Doors themselves, frames are actually in quite good shape. Um, they're obviously replacement doors because they're uh, they're still in primer on the insides. Um, bulkhead wise, let's get this up. That footwell looks reasonably good there. This is glued on this bit of carpet. I think that's a look. Oh, actually, maybe it's not. Actually looks okay in there and looks all right up around here. Um, all the correct say dashboard and stuff in there. Inside here, the in fact it's got it's a, a metal headlining on it. I've seen one one of those before, but uh, presumably that stops a bit of condensation because you haven't got the uh, it's like effectively a double skinning. Um, front seats are in quite good shape. No nasties on the seat bases or backs at all. It's all matted throughout as well. A um, few bits of paint loss on the near side rear wing there. Around the tail end, 
cross member looks to be in good order from the back surface of it. In here, um, a couple of these seats of uh, seat cushions have seen better days and sort of vinyl splits on the end and stuff. Same there, um, but it's all uh, all perfectly usable. Uh, tailgate. I don't know why it's got this carpeted <laughs> carpeted door card on it, but uh, tailgate bottom frame actually feels pretty good. Like it might have had a uh, a section let in there on the back of it. Rather, but Looking down the offside, except I haven't shut the driver's door properly. It's better. Still slightly proud, but that's normal. Um, offside rear wing looks okay. Roof all looks good. Offside door has got um, a dent in the barrel side just there and a bit of paint loss. Again, electrolytic reaction on the door bottom. Um, scuffle corner on this side again has probably had a bit of work, although you can still see the spot weld marks again quite near the edge. So. Um, if it has, it's just been down around around the hinges, I think. Um, offside front wing, we've talked about where the uh, so we've got some sand colour showing through. Inside, we've got a nick in the outside of the driver's seat um, there on the outside part on the upper part of it. Uh, it's had the A post repaired down here. The welding could be slightly tidier, it's fair to say. Um, and the top rail that holds the wiper motor on the driver's side is quite rusty, but it's just the top rail bit there. Um, that really is about it. Um, for a 48 year old, she's not too bad. Drives beautifully, actually. Um, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk, for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously the cost. That's about it. Yeah.